guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing my top 10 winter beauty must-haves. So these are like my top 10 products that I cannot live without throughout the winter months. Um, these are all the products that I've been using recently. It's kind of like a winter must-have slash current favourites video because all of these products I'm in love with and I've been using them loads over the past, I'd say kind of two month, two to three months now. So I've got all of my must have and favourite products in this bag here. And I thought, I was looking back on my channel just to see what I'd been filming. I do this quite often, just to see um, what I'd like to film next time. Obviously I do quite a lot of makeup tutorials. That's mainly what my channel's based around. But um, I thought, I haven't done a favourites video in months and months and months. So I've got a, a mixture of products in here. I've got makeup, I've got skincare, I've got hair care, um, I've got perfume in there and stuff like that. So I'm just going to start with my first product. One of the products that I cannot live without throughout the winter months and kind of all year round really is a good hand cream, but especially at this time of year. Um, this is the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. This says it softens hands, targets age spots and strengthens nails. This is my all time favourite hand cream. So like I said, this hand cream here is from Clarins and I think it's about £21. Um, but as you can see, I love this one. I keep it by my bedside table and I use it daily. This time of year, my hands get so so dry and I do suffer with eczema anyway um, and this hand cream it just smells amazing feels amazing it absorbs really nicely and it just really kind of quenches my hands um, and gets rid of any little dry patches that I tend to get um, yeah hand cream for me is an essential all year round but especially in the winter months and my top pick for my hand cream is definitely the Clarins hand and nail treatment cream I wish I could pass coffee as a winter must have but it is but it's a daily must-have, it's a hourly must-have, it is a all-year-round must-have. I just love coffee. I think I'm just going to randomly kind of pick from my bag. I think I'm going to go now onto skincare. So for me, good skincare in the winter months is so important. I do switch up the products that I use. Um, but one that I use all year round, but especially this time of year, I start using it in the morning this time of year. It's my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. If you haven't already seen, I've uploaded a skincare routine to my channel a couple of weeks back. Um, I did an updated routine, my skincare routine that I do morning, nighttime, and treatments. Um, you guys, um, this stuff is amazing. It's like good skin in a bottle. I explain more about it in my skincare routine. Again, I'll link it down below. Um, it's oil free, which is amazing. It's a super lightweight kind of serum. It sinks instantly into the skin. It's got hyaluronic acid in, which is a moisture magnet. It helps with anti aging. It helps um, fight fatigue on the skin. It helps repair damage, um, especially this time of year. This is such a must have for me. I have to have night repair on me during the winter because I do tend to get a little dehydrated, kind of flaky patches, and this stops that from happening. And to go with my serum, I have to pair it with a really hydrating, rich moisturizer. And recently I've been liking one with a little bit more of like a glow in it. Um, this is amazing. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And this is kind of like a cross between like a primer and a moisturizer because it's got like um, a glow to it. This is in the shade Nude Glow. And as you can see, it's almost got like a pearlized finish to it. This smells amazing. It smells like kind of an like orange sweet. It's like really super sweet. It smells incredible. Um, I've been loving Glam Glow products recently, but as you can see, it's got like a pearlized glow in it. I first saw this on Nikki Tutorial channel and this has so many benefits in for your skin really good stuff in Glam Glow products they have amazing technology in them but so it just adds that luminous glow underneath your foundation um, I've been really really enjoying this recently and especially this time of year again if you get dehydrated skin this is a must have. And talking of dehydrated skin, a good face mask at this time of year is key. It is key. And my favourite one to use is the Glam Glow. Again, I didn't mean to feature two Glam Glow products. It's just what I've been enjoying recently. Um, the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. It literally smells like coconuts. It looks like this. It's like a gel base to it. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. And I literally slather this all over my skin, down my neck and chest, instantly hydrates and boosts the skin. Obviously you don't have to spend the money on the Glam Glow mask, but this is probably my top favorite for a hydrating treatment. I also love, which I spoke about in my skincare routine, the um, Garnier Sheet Mask, the Moisture Bomb Mask. Those are amazing alternative for this one. Um, I'm just reading off the Sephora website um, about this moisturiser. It says it's a non-drying, hydrating mask to deliver instant extreme moisture. 
Um, it says it uses the newest, most advanced extreme hydration active technologies. It moisturizes, restores, replenishes and calms the skin. It's got hyaluronic acid, which again has got the night repair in. I love hyaluronic acid. Um, and it says it deeply hydrates the skin for a glowing complexion for silky, soft, supple, feel skin. Sticking with skin, but moving on to the body, I absolutely love body scrubs. Um, and my favorite ones recently, I've not actually opened this one. This is a brand new one. I've got one actually open in my shower right now, which is the original one, are the Frank body these are the coffee scrubs um it says it's coffee based skincare for all babes uh this is the coconut coffee scrub again i haven't actually opened this one they come in like a little it looks like a paper bag um but it's completely waterproof um and i love the smell because obviously like i was talking about earlier i am obsessed with coffee um and coffee is actually amazing for the skin as well um this is like an all natural vegan um product which basically it has basically coffee in there and loads of coconut oils it has a hobo seed oil it has great oil in there um loads of good things for your skin and it is absolutely amazing i kind of scoop this out and i scrub my whole body including my face with this once a week it's amazing at removing tan as well so i literally just says take a few handfuls of me and massage me around your body rinse with a steamy shower and it literally makes your skin afterwards feel so silky it almost needs like a layer of like hydrating oil on your skin and it this is literally the best scrub I've ever used. Um, I know I see these a lot on Instagram, the Frank Body Scrubs, um, and I kind of bought one on, and I bought two packs on Beauty Bay on a whim, and I'm so glad I did because I am obsessed with these. This is the Velour Lip Scrub in Strawberry Gum from Jeffree Star. Um, this is like a sugar scrub, which looks like this, which really um, intensely exfoliates the lips smells incredible and it tastes really nice as well um this i use daily before i do any lipstick it just gets rid of any of those like flaky patches on your lips um, and this one's such a nice thing to like treat to use as well because it smells so nice um i exfoliate everywhere um weekly and especially my lips as well so don't forget about your lips and i always put a really nice nourishing balm over the top of my lips after and you guys know i love the blistex one which brings me on to the next product which is a good lip balm um i use so many but my favorite one which is the most affordable one is the blistex intensive moisture my actual favorite one now is the blistex intensive moisture cherry version love that one uh, i don't think i actually have one on me i always keep them in like my car and my handbag and stuff um but this lip balm is incredible it's so affordable i think it's like two or three pounds in boots and it's always on offer so i have multiples of these um and it really intensively hydrates your lips and it's just incredible so if you're looking for a good affordable balm this one from blistex is amazing now before we move on to like the makeup products, I want to make, talk about a hair product. This is my favourite hair oil. This is from Moroccan Oil. This is the Moroccan Oil Treatment for all hair types. This is the original Moroccan Oil. Um, this says it's a unique rich formula of an antioxidant argan oil which instantly absorbs into the hair to immediately enhance manageability, shine and deliver long term conditioning without leaving a residue and I definitely agree with that. I use this every single time I wash my hair. I tend to put it on damp hair. Um, I do one pump. I'm massage it into my hand and I take it all the way through my mid lengths and ends um, and it's one of the only products that I now use on my hair. I use a bedhead detangling spray in a little orange bottle. I then comb through my hair um, and then I just put one pump of this on and um, before I style it and it just makes my hair so soft and everybody always asks me why my hair is so soft and in good condition and I honestly put it down to this Moroccan oil as you can see I don't know if you can see on camera but I've literally used down to here now and I've had this bottle now for way over a year um, and it's lasted me so so well and I've still got half left in there. Um, I love the fact that it comes with a pump and you do not want to forget about your hair. You want to be moisturising and conditioning your hair and this product is definitely worth it in my opinion. So the winter for me and winter must-haves definitely has to be glitter, especially around Christmas. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about a few here. I like glitter gel eyeliners for the winter time because they're so easy to use and in the winter I just love sparkle and glitter. It just reminds me of Christmas and New Year. Um, so my favourite ones are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. I like the shade midnight cowboy and i think it's called glam rock and i also love for an affordable option the glam crystals dazzling gel eyeliners from collection uh, this one here is in the shade number one glitz but i have all of the colors in these they're so affordable i think they're like two or three pounds glitter eyeliners are amazing i just press them over my lid on the inner corner they just make any makeup look just come together and especially at this time of year again it just reminds me of christmas sparkles and like fairies and oh just all christmas i just love christmas 
but if you are looking for a kind of press glitter i absolutely love these ones here from glitter injections i spoke about these i did a whole dedicated video on them they're basically like little gel pans of glitter like pressed into like a little pan i actually have one on my lids today i have this color here on my lid which i think is like called like caramel latte or like latte something i forget the name of it but um, i just press these all over my lid they're best applied with fingers and they just add just the most gorgeous sparkle to any of your makeup looks these are really affordable and they always have amazing deals on glitter injections and i think there's a uk website which does them that's just called i forget what it's called but i'll see if i can find it and link it down below um but yeah glitters for me pressed loose any kind of glitter i'm obsessed with in the winter time but again i'm obsessed all year round winter time for me is all about lips and the lip options that i always go for is either a dark berry lip or a red lip so i'm going to show you my favorite lip combinations so my favorite red lipstick option is the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now which is max ruby woo lip pencil and max matte lipstick in the shade lady danger this color is everything i've always been obsessed with lady danger lipstick but this time of year is when i crack it out it's like my go-to kind of hot fire orange red um and the formula on this is beautiful as well it's a really non-drying it's actually quite a hydrating matte formula um and paired with this lip liner girl you need to get your hands on this lip combination this is definitely more of a blue based red and this is definitely more orange but i tend to like blend them together with the lip pencil and it just creates the most gorgeous red lip um so definitely winter time especially around christmas a red lip is essential and also a dark lip as well my favorite dark lip pencil is again from mac this is the night moth lip pencil which is a real kind of dark current burgundy color and i tend to pair it with i tend to prefer liquid lipsticks when i'm wearing a dark lip um, but if i don't wear a liquid lipstick i like the sigma classic lipstick in the shade dahlia which is from i think their wildflower collection this is the most gorgeous plummy berry color it just reminds me of winter time the formula on these are beautiful as well i will swatch them on the back of my hand for you so that is the shade there as you can see it's a gorgeous kind of dark lip but it's not too too dark to the point where you're going to feel like uncomfortable with it on because it's a cream formula it feels really nice on the lips the next two that i'm going to show you are a lot deeper so this is like a nice kind of in-between color the other two i love this one's from kylie cosmetics this is from the coco collection the matte liquid lipstick in the shade gorge so that is the one there from kylie cosmetics and it dries down completely matte and i love the formula of the kylie cosmetics um, matte liquid lipsticks and another one i love which is more affordable this is from ColourPop. this is the ultra matte lip from the I Love Sanity and Colourpop collection. And this is in the shade Mamacita. I love the name of that. And this one's definitely more of a dark, rich plum colour as opposed to like a burgundy dark lip. So that's that one there. Mm, that colour is doing things to me love it these kind of colors this time of year for me are everything paired with like a gold champagne eye or just like a minimal eye with eyeliner with a real dark lip. I'm just going to take these off my hands before I get them everywhere. Now this is technically my last beauty product. Um, I'm going to talk about one other thing. Um, but this is my t last favourite beauty product which is actually a perfume. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Eau Gourmande. I don't know what it's called. This is basically the Laura Mercier Vanilla Perfume. So this is what this perfume looks like. And for me this perfume from Laura Mercier the vanilla one it just smells like winter time. It is like a toffee vanilla oh dream it just smells so so amazing it's so intense and so strong and it smells really kind of strong of vanilla so if you like vanilla perfume you need to get your hands on this it lasts on your skin all day without fading and for me this is a perfume for me that i only tend to wear in the autumn winter time i don't tend to wear it during the summer it is definitely more of that kind of warm um winter time perfume and for me this is an essential at this time of year i always crack this perfume out and whenever i'm wearing this i always tend to get compliments on my perfume so definitely go and give this a little sniff if you are into vanilla scents and the last thing i have to talk about which i know isn't a beauty product but it's an essential for me this time of year are cans candles specifically yankee candles i'm obsessed with as you can see back there i'm burning the yankee candle in berry trifle smells incredible that's one of my favorite winter candles but i also have another three here which i want to show you guys just really quickly before i end the video this is the yankee candle sparkling cinnamon candle um oh my gosh if you like the smell of cinnamon this is amazing um and it, on the front of it it's like got cinnamon covered in sugar because it's like a sparkling cinnamon and i looked it up and it's meant to be more of like a sweet cinnamon oh my gosh it smells like 
it literally smells like cinnamon buns, like obsessed. And I love the smell of cinnamon, so if you do, definitely go and give this one a try. The next one I've been loving this year from Yankee Candle is the Sugar Cookie Martini. Now this is part of their like cocktail festive range. Um, I love the festive ranges from Yankee Candle. They're like my favourite candles. Um, and this is called Sugar Cookie Martini and it literally just smells like cookies. Like it, when I'm burning this, I just want to eat it. Like it smells so, so good. But at the same time, it's got that kind of like cocktail martini vibe to it. Smells so, so good. Obsessed with that one. But my all time favourite one this year is the Yankee Candle in Snowflake Cookie. Um, this is again part of the festive range. Um, and this one smells like sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, it smells like, if oh, it smells so good. It smells so sickly sweet, but I'm obsessed with sweet smells. Um, and this smells absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to burn this. I love really sweet candles. And this one for me is perfect. It literally just smells like a cookie. Put them up there with my collection. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my top 10 or 12, 15, however many products I mentioned in this video, um, beauty must-haves and current beauty favourites of things that I've been absolutely obsessed with recently. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Again, if you want to see how to get this makeup look, it'll be linked in the description box down below for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It means so, so much to me, and we're so close to 20,000 subscribers, so if you would subscribe, that'll be absolutely amazing, and I'd really appreciate it. And also please make sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button that just notifies you every single time I upload a new video And yeah, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on my videos. You guys are absolutely amazing I love reading your guys' comments and literally even if you just like my video or just watch my video It means the absolute world to me I try and put so much effort into my videos and see you guys enjoy watching them just means the absolute world to me It warms my heart. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for your love and support. You're all amazing So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next Friday at 8pm in my next video. Bye guys Mwah. See ya